video, I want to show you a utility that we use called CCleaner. CCleaner is a great program for removing temporary internet files and all the other garbage that builds up over time on your computer. Go ahead and open this up. You'll see that CCleaner has several different sections to it. Uh, options would be for program options, which we can go into and take a look at. Um, you're typically not going to use any of these other things here. You may want to run it when your computer starts up. You may not. We typically don't change anything in here. Tools, this will allow you to uninstall programs or look at your system restore settings and allow you to remove them. See what's starting up on your system. If you're needing to get into these items, you're usually going to do this through another utility. Like for instance, if you want to uninstall a program, you're going to go into control panel and uninstall the program. Registry integrity, um, this usually finds a couple of things, but there's hundreds of thousands of different entries inside of the registry. And so if you find six entries that are kind of dead end, um, it's not going to make any difference on your system. So we typically don't run this. Cleaner, which is what we use CCleaner for, this is really what the program is going to help you with. It's going to remove all the garbage that accumulates on your PC over time. Now I want to draw your attention to a few spots on the Cleaner tab before we run it, uh, just so you're aware of some things you may want to be concerned with. So one of them is autocomplete form history. Now if you go on a website and whether it's a forum or a banking site or something that makes you fill out a form, if you start typing in it auto fills that information that's what this option is talking about so if you start typing in a username and it auto populates and you like that feature or you go to a site that has a username that auto populates and then it pops in your password if you select this item this will delete that password and that username so if you want to keep those make sure that this is deselected another thing you may want to do is recent documents. This is the short list of documents that you've opened in various programs. If you want to keep that short list, you want to deselect that also. Another thing is thumbnail cache. Keep that deselected because uh, that is the cache or the thumbnail picture on all of your pictures. So if you have a bunch of pictures and you see the picture in a thumbnail on the icon of what that picture is and you want to keep that then leave this deselected. If you did a bunch of deleting of, of pictures or you move them around to different folders and you want all that information to be recreated uh, then go ahead and select that and it'll delete all that information then the next time you go into that folder it'll redo all those thumbnails for you. Um, the rest of this we typically want to leave as is. You want to empty the recycle bin. You want to get rid of temporary files. Um, you want to do these other options. So I usually leave that alone. Um, there's also applications. Depending on your computer, this is a new PC and so there really isn't a bunch of stuff here. Um, but your computer may have different options. You're usually going to leave that alone. It's usually the passwords that we want to keep, the recent documents, and the thumbnails. Everything else you'll leave as a default. Um, another thing to think about, and really the only problem I find with CCleaner is that it only removes the temporary files for the user that's currently logged in. And so if you've got multiple users on your PC or multiple profiles on your PC, you're going to need to log in as each one of those users to delete the files for that specific user. Um, but that's really not a huge problem, especially for a free program. This does a great job of finding all of the uh, temporary files that programs put in there and, and that accumulate over time and that will slow down a PC over time. Um, you know, newer PCs, you don't notice all of these files building up just because of the speeds, but an older PC, you'll really begin to notice when you get into a uh, a section or a file folder that has thousands of files in it because when it goes to reference that it's got to look through all those files and so if they're unused or unneeded and it's got to look at 10,000 files it's going to be slower going in either referencing a file in there or writing a file to that directory because of the sheer number it's not necessarily the size so it's a good idea just to go ahead and clean these items out from time to time also 
Now, how often you need to run this depends on how you use your computer. Um, you know, once every two, three months is probably fine for most people. Uh, if you're not a, a heavy internet user, you may not need to run it as often as even that, maybe every six months or every year. But really, when you go in to use it, if you see that, okay, it's only deleted, you know, 10 uh, megs worth of information, you can probably run it less often. If you see that, okay, it deleted two gigs worth of information, you may want to run it more often. Um, but basically, we run it blindly. We may turn off the forms history and uh, thumbnail cache and recent documents, um, but basically we'll go in, load the program, and uh, you can do an analyze which will go through and see what's actually there and then allow you to delete it or you can just run the cleaner and that's typically what we what we'll do we'll run the cleaner it'll tell you that it's just going to run it it's not going to tell you what it is it's just going to blindly delete what you have selected and that's actually what we want to do so we'll click on OK there's not going to be a lot here simply because um, this is a brand new PC. We haven't uh, haven't really done anything on it other than load CCleaner and go to a couple websites. Uh, but you will see that it's got 19 megabytes removed. Well, we didn't really do anything on this PC, so I'm I'm kind of surprised there's that much. But that's how things build up in your system. Just by going to a few websites and loading CCleaner, we actually managed to build up 19 megabytes of basic garbage programs that we don't need on there. Now, would I run it every day? No, um, but I run it on our systems here every month or two, depending on you know what I've been doing. And that's CCleaner, great program. Uh, you can download it from ccleaner.com, which will make you go to one of their file uh, sharing sites to download it, or you can find a link to it from our site, which is cnetsys.com.